Hi guys, I'm Chris. Welcome back to the channel. Or welcome aboard if this is your first time watching. I'm um, going to take a quick look today at the Raw hoodie from Millspec Monkey. They released it fairly recently, and if you're into firearms, hunting, airsoft, paintball, survival, anything like that, really, it's probably something you're going to like. So I picked one up, um, and uh, let's, let's go through a few of the features. So to start off, well, the, the actual construction material. It is a, a nine ounce. 50-50 blend of cotton and polyester. It's uh, as you can see from the inside. They've got a nice, nice, very comfortable sort of texture on the inside of the of the jacket. So it's it is very very comfortable to wear. I have to say, sizing wise, as you can tell, this is a lot of a tighter fit, more of an athletic cut as they call it, compared to the sort of hoodies that you would generally see people wear if you were to just walk into your average clothes shop. Um, so. MSM they do advise when you're buying one of these go for if you want that more of a loose fit if you want to wear it generally as an outer garment go for a size up or if you want a baggy really baggy fit like what you're probably more used to with general outer sort of jumpers jackets like this then go two sizes up. What I like about the, the cut of this and the fact it is close fitting is that it's going to work well as a mid layer in the same sense as your sort of your fleeces and your insulating jackets where you would wear a shirt and then some sort of jacket like this followed by a smock or you know, whatever it is, some sort of weather resistant outer garment, whatever it is you can choose. Good thing about this, like I say, it fits closely so it's not going to sort of bunch up and interfere with that outer jacket. It's going to stay comfortable and obviously you're getting a good level of warmth. However, of course, if you want to wear this as your outer layer, you know, it's December right now here, um, the weather isn't great, and uh, I'm, I'm perfectly warm. It's not it's not freezing cold right now, but it's it's not exactly, it's not exactly baking down with sunshine, so, you know, it, it's doing the job pretty well. Other features we've got, as you see here, we've got two large pockets on the inside, fairly sort of standard for a zipped hoodie jacket like this. Really nice for hand warm enough to say, as much as it doesn't look very smart, a bit sort of loutish, I mean, it, they are they are nice, get you just the right size for your hands, keep them there, keep them warm, or stuff your phone and your wallet, all that, just all that good stuff. Got the hood back here, as you can see, even on my massive oversized head, fits nicely, and you can, uh, you can get that Jedi Knight look going on really good. On the ends of the sleeves, both sleeves you've got your thumb holes there, like a lot of fleeces have, gives, gives you sort of half a glove if you've not got any gloves, it's you know, certainly better than nothing, even if your fingers get cold, at least you can keep that warm blood up to that point of your hand. Each arm, as with any sort of tactical clothing, you've got to have your Velcro, 4 inch by 4 inch section of loop Velcro. I've got some uh, patches on the go today, and one from Brickkit USA. Good thing about them is colour matched to whichever colour jacket you buy. So if you take the patches off, then you know, it's not really going to be too too obvious. They're not going to stand out. They've got Velcro on the sleeves. If you don't want that for, for whatever reason, depending on where you're going, zip, good chunky YKK zip, double stitched in to the material. Very solid. It's going to last. Drawstrings there for drawstrings there for the hood. If you if you if you've got the hood up and you just feel you need to tighten it down that little bit, you've got that option there. Attention to detail is great. You know you can really tell all the seams have been neatly tucked away inside, flat lock sewn. Really put the effort into how they've cut and designed this jacket. The the lower edge around here, just at the bottom of your waist. We've got an elasticated section that's going to keep it, um, hopefully you can see that, it's going to keep it cinched down just around your waist there to stop the, uh, stop the wind just blowing up and into your torso area which is never good, I've had that with some other, if you wear more of a loose fitting coat and you forget to put a layer like this underneath the wind just blows straight up and it just it's like you're wearing just a t-shirt so something that's a, you know, always a very good feature to have. I really like the the, the actual cut of this, as I say, it's going to look tight. I went for a small because I usually buy small when it comes to this sort of kit, and it's and it's got the height 
maybe could go for a medium to get more of a slightly baggy fit if I was going to wear this more as an outer garment but I think as that mid layer this is the sizing is going to work well for me but again if you're not not sure of your sizing think it over maybe send MSM uh, an email and I'm sure they'll help you out with a, with a sizing chart or maybe decide which one it is colors wise you can pick these up this is the sort of subdued grey, slightly grey blue, I think it's called charcoal, they also do the nice tactical sort of olive drab, I'm not sure if they're coming out in any other colours, got a good range of sizes, all the way from the small like this, way up to all your XLs and all that sort of thing. Customer service from Uspec Monkey, I've made a few orders with them now, and I can't ever fault them really quick on the, on all the sort of the notification emails telling you that they've got your order, getting the payment processed, getting the order packaged up, getting it shipped out, get that tracking number to you, send it over, I mean even coming over to the UK with all the, the customs check-in, all that stuff that we have, it still didn't take too long, so I'm pleased with that. Overall, really highly rate this jacket, I'd say, fully recommend it if you're after um, any sort of, just something to keep you warm this winter, really, you, can't, um, you really can't go wrong with the raw hoodie from Miss Big Monkey. So, there we go. I shall put the link if you want to pick one up down in the description below. As always, just want to say thanks to everyone that's watched, uh, watched my videos in the past. Just want to really take an opportunity because there's a lot of guys out there that give me a lot of thumbs up and a lot of subs to the channel and stuff, and it's really helped me, you know, carry on making the videos and doing all this stuff. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed watching. So yeah, I do really do genuinely mean I appreciate everyone coming by, cheers from the subs, all that good stuff massive help. So for more like this, keep an eye on the channel guys, and I'll see you next time.